Here in what is now known as Canada, the government has been supporting the role of Indigenous peoples in protecting and conserving biodiversity. When we approached us and they asked us if we would host, help the team, we said, well, we will do it, but under certain conditions. And one of them was that we would not be able to do that in Indigenous peoples are leading some of the largest, most ambitious plans for conservation and stewardship. For example, the Seal River watershed in northern Manitoba. We are an alliance of four First Nation communities in northern Manitoba, protecting traditional territory for our communities, the span of 50,000 square kilometers, or the size of Nova Scotia. In the Cascadene territory, they're proposing a protected area of 40,000 kilometers in size. Then Kikusan, which is a Casca-led Indigenous protected and conserved area and we are working hard to try to protect a key core part of our traditional territory in British Columbia. These are areas that are of global significance because they not only conserve the local biodiversity but they also conserve the ability of these areas to cycle, store the carbon that is the problem around climate change started including indigenous knowledge and impact assessment and the science that we do on biodiversity and climate change. Any new conservation project that is proposed in Canada now must have indigenous people at the table from the get-go. It's something that we've been fighting for for generations and it's really, really powerful to see that starting to come to fruition. The indigenous peoples in Canada and the government in Canada for us is an example. We look to our brothers and sisters here in Canada and we are inspired by you, the work that you do with the government, and the recognition that you have fought for and won. The government of Canada is working really hard with many of our allies around the world who also believe that indigenous side conservation needs to be at the forefront. Canada responding to Indigenous people's desire to have conservation and stewardship will really result in Canada becoming a global leader not only in conservation but also in human rights.